probably three quarters of all the branches that are getting in the way of the major trunk of the tree for us to chop up are cleared. You see this little chipper worked out great. Now we got tons of mulch for the garden and for the orchard and whatnot. Um, and just for our compost. So putting the tree back into the farm. Um, yeah, I guess tomorrow we'll probably finish it. That little cobalt saw is cool and all, but the battery dies kind of quick. If I had like three more batteries, it would be good as well. But I think I might need like a Husqvarna Rancher soon. Um, yeah, so. Oh, go yeah. mulch some beds. Yeah, we can go mulch some beds now. All those wood chips from the tree that fell on our property, we're now sprinkling over the asparagus and the horseradish. Will it work? We don't know, but uh, it sounds pretty sustainable, <laughs> right? Using. It was available to us. Yeah, it was available to us. It's from the property. It's organic. It's organic matter. We know that it's not covered in pesticides from, you know, we didn't buy the wood chips from somebody else. They came off of our property, so. We're first time farmers. If you got any ideas, let us know. But we're giving it a shot. We're doing what we can with what we have and having a tractor and a wood chipper available is a lot that not most people may not have. But figure out a way to do it yourself. We didn't plan on having any of this. Her parents were just like, hey, we have this, so you might as well use it. So I'm taking full advantage of that. Um, use what's available to you. Yeah, use this what's available so to you. To be available to us. Yeah, we didn't come out here with the intentions of having a tractor right away. I guess we don't, it's part-time, it's borrowed. I gotta drive it back. But, um, yeah, sell the shit you're not using, buy some property, and go have fun. Take it easy, everybody. Pay off your debts.